Hello and welcome to the Afterlife SMP. My name is Fungosaurus Rex and I have two great nemesis. Sis. Ne- nemesis. Nem. Nem. Hello and welcome to the Afterlife SMP. My name is Fungosaurus Rex and I have two great adversaries. The first, of course, being deep dark caves. I never have a good time in them and as you might see from my previous episode, they cause me quite a headache. I really, really need to get out of here. Let me just quickly place down a few more torches over here and then I think I'll just circle back around and get out of here. Oh no, 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 where's my shield? My shield? Oh no. Okay. Whenever I'm in one, things don't seem to go well. Being the absolute legend that he is, Skunk offered to try and help me get my stuff back. As I said, if Skunk can grab a few of the things... Oh no! Okay, it seems Skunk will not be grabbing a few of my things. Um, Yeah, now we have to try and get his stuff back as well. Yeah, we didn't. We both lost pretty much everything. And that brings me to today, where I'm standing in front of you in crappy iron armor with minimal gear and that is what we're going to fix. We're going to get all of our stuff back and we're going to go one step further. We're going to upgrade it all to netherite gear. Now that means I have to contend with my second great adversary and that is the nether itself. But first, it's time for a shopping spree. So here we are, a ton of diamonds later and I am finally once again kitted out. I've got my diamond armor, I've got some weapons, I've got some tools and it's time to get started working on that netherite gear. But that of course means we don't only need netherite, we also need a netherite smithing template and that means a trip to a bastion. Now as you might see I've started organizing some of my storage here because it was an absolute mess. It's looking a lot better now, I'm finding stuff a lot easier. But that's not why we're here. We need to go and check out our gunpowder supply. Now I have been doing one or two AFK sessions, but I don't know if we have enough yet. We need to go check it out, see how much we have, and see how that's going to translate into TNT. So here we go. It's just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. Put your hands on your... Nah, nah, okay, we're not not doing that. All right, here we go. As I said, I've been doing a little bit of time sitting over here AFK by the gunpowder farm and let's see what we have. We have a not quite as much as I would like, but that will give us at least two stacks of TNT and then I think we're going to have to do another session here. But let's get started. Next up, I'm going to need some sand. I've got plenty of that. Fortunately, I collected all my sand before I got blown up and lost everything and um, yeah, let's make some TNT not turn. Okay, there we go. That is one stack. Let's get some more sand, four more, and that'll give us two stacks of TNT and that is pretty much all of the gunpowder we have at the moment. So yeah, definitely we're going to need more than that and that means some more AFK sessions over by the gunpowder farm. Now I've got three plans while I'm in the nether. The first is of course to find a bastion, get a netherite smithing template. The second is to find a fortress and there I need some uh, blaze rods as well as some nether wart because I want to make fire resistance potions. And once we've got those two we can head out and we can go find our ancient debris. Where's my portal? It's over that side. So the order I'm going to do this in is blaze rods and nether wart for potions, grab a smithing template, and finally, ancient debris. When I first joined the server, Jay warned me that the nether underneath spawn is absolutely gutted, which means I need to go out quite a few blocks to find an untouched piece of nether, a pristine landscape that I can absolutely wreck with TNT. 
So I'm flying out about 3000 blocks and that should give me a nice clean new piece of nether that's going to be mine and mine alone. Now the idea is I'm going to fly out about 3000 blocks, build a nether portal, go to the overworld, hop over a little bit and then build another nether portal to take me into the nether itself and off the roof. And I was about two and a half thousand blocks out when I realized I don't have a flint and steel, which means my whole idea was an absolute waste of time. So here we are and that is all we came back for. Now that we've got it, it's time to give this another go. So here we go, take two, back into the nether we go. And we are almost there. I've decided to go about 3,200 blocks. I don't know why that seemed like a good number to me, but it is what we are doing. So here we are, 3,200 blocks out. And what we need to do now is, of course, build ourselves a nether portal. Then the last step is lighting it. And once we step through, we should be getting a pretty awesome achievement. And Okay, it's taking a long time, so I assume it's busy loading some chunks on the other side. Here we go, and yes, there we have it, a subspace bubble. And I think that means we have traveled 8,000 blocks by nether and somehow managed to land in a village. And we've in fact traveled about 25,000 blocks. So yeah, that, that that's pretty good going. Now the next thing we're going to do is hop over just a little bit this way and oh, it's busy loading in chunks and I am going to smash into something and die, which would be really, really tragic at this point. So I think this is far enough away. I'm going to build my second nether portal right here. And this portal is, of course, what's going to get me off the nether roof and into the nether with the good bits. There we go, nether portal constructed, and this should take us into the nether itself. So hopefully we don't have a horrible, horrible spawn here, and no, this actually looks pretty decent. Just look at all of that beautiful, untouched landscape. So I've decided that I'm gonna take all of my good stuff, pack it in a shulker box, and leave it in the overworld. So there we go. And let's just pop it down right here. And my reasoning is that the less stuff I have with me, the less likely the chances that I'm going to lose some of my good stuff. I want to take as little things as I can in with me, and that should minimize the loss, because I have been known to fall into a pool of lava or two. Now, we've almost reached the fortress, but I have a bit of a problem, a lag issue of sorts. As you can see, I break this block and it's back. And then it disappears a few seconds later, which is making it incredibly difficult for me to play right now. So I think I might need to log out, log back in and see if that's going to fix the issue. So I'll be back in just a second. I've logged back in. Everything looks all right, except my pickaxe has disappeared. It's just disappeared. I didn't drop it. I didn't leave it anywhere. It is just gone. So, yeah. I just made a new pickaxe and already I have lost another one. Which means I need to head back out, grab a new pickaxe and come back in. So after a quick trip to the overworld to grab my fortune pickaxe, I am finally back and I have found the terrible, I have found a blaze. Okay, that is what I'm after, but not right now, dude. So I think what I'm going to do is build a second staircase that goes down this way. It'll take me down to the fortress ground level so I can tackle the blaze once I get there instead of dropping in, not knowing if I'm going to get munched on by some fire breathing monsters. And this is the worst terrible fortress I have ever seen. Everything is one level. It doesn't seem to be any depth to it. And most of it is encased in netherrack. But I do see a blaze spawner over there. And that is what I'm after. Now, usually it helps to have a little bit of a roof over it. But in this case, I'm just going to have to make do with what I have. Now we'll make our way over there in a second. I wanted to take a look around, but this blaze up top here is threatening to make my life miserable. So that means we're going to take him out quickly 
And there we go, we have our first blaze rods and the achievement. So the road leading to the spawner is completely covered in netherrack, which is good, but the spawner is open, which is not so good. And oh, no, 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 go back, go back, go back, go away. Why am I missing half my swipes? Can't be that far away from him. I'm still hitting him at times, but anyway, let's just get rid of these two guys. And that should give us a few more rods and another one up here. And I think that gives us, yeah, 10 rods, not bad. I've been grinding away for a while. I've got almost a stack of blaze rods, but right now I'm in desperate need of some food. So let's just have a little bit of chicken. There we go. And yeah, 56 blaze rods. I think that's enough. I'm going to get out of here because we all know as soon as I try and push my luck, things turn bad really quickly. And instead of getting out of here, I've decided to just come and take a look around. Oh, yes, come to Papa. Two diamonds, three gold ingots, and a pool of lava, which I'm going to fall into at any moment. Now I'm hearing some wither skeletons clunking around, so I'm just going to make this place safe and go look for them. Now I hear the guys all over the place, but I don't actually see the... Oh, you sneaky rat! That was completely uncalled for dropping in through the roof, which means I need to put a ceiling on this place as well. And yeah, we've got our safe little spot here. I'm just luring a few of them to their doom. You, sir, will be number two. Let's get you down and... Oh, not even a piece of coal. You're even stingier than Santa Claus. Okay, well, here we go. We've got with the skeleton number three. Let's get rid of this guy. And... Yes, look at that. We have our first wither skeleton skull. Just look at it. Oh boy. Brilliant. Anyway, um, I don't think I'm going to stick around and try and find any more of those because I am really, really pushing my luck here. I think I need to get out of here. I got what I came for. So I think I need to head home, consolidate, get all the stuff I need for my mining session and my bastion raid. Okay, I completely spaced out. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't looking what's happening. And um, yeah, well, fortunately, I've got the coordinates. So this chunk should stay unloaded. I don't think there's anybody on at the moment. But it means that I need to go and get my stuff. Uh, I broke the bed. I need to go get my stuff. I can't rage quit right now. I just need a moment. Okay. Fortunately, it's more of a headache than a problem. It's just a lot of effort. But we can get all our stuff back. We shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. And we're almost back to where we were. Yep, here's my stuff scattered all about. The very spot where I splattered all over the ground. Fortunately, I had a second elytra, so we were able to get here easily. And I don't think we actually lost anything. So let's just have a quick look. Uh, it looks pretty much like everything important is here. So the only casualty so far on this trip is my pickaxe through no fault of my own. And of course, my golden helmet, which just couldn't take the punishment anymore. So yeah, it was a bit of a detour, it was a bit of an unplanned trip, but it is alright. I've got everything, I haven't lost everything, so it's more of an annoyance than an actual problem. Let's just have some chicken and then I think I am heading back home. So we can start brewing our potions and get everything ready for our trip to the Bastion and our mining session. Surprise! I'm back at the fortress and there's a ton of blazers spawning all over the place. It's becoming more dangerous by the second, but I am here because I didn't find any nether wart and I desperately need it to make my potions of fire resistance. One of the main things that I was here to find. So let's just see. Just get these fires out, take care of these blaze and oh no, 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 spooky scary skeleton. Okay, let's just get away from these guys. Uh, let's take care of this dude. Take that and then, okay, let's run away. This is getting really dangerous. Uh, I can't really see where my hearts are at. And, ah, uh, skeleton, no, go away. Oh, jeez. Okay, I I might be in trouble. I might be in trouble. Okay, ah, where's the other one? Okay, I'm, uh, I think I'm safe for a second, but uh, no.
All right, so uh, I'm back. I've got all my stuff except for, guess what? My brand new pickaxe. Yep, I managed to find everything except the pickaxe that I made just before coming here and dying. I suppose either the ghost blew it up or it fell in the fire when it exploded all over the place, but... Yeah, I've had a look around. It is nowhere to be found, so that is Silk Touch pickaxe number two for this trip. Gone. And the ghost is still about. I think, honestly... Yeah, I, I've had enough of this fortress. I am getting out of here. I am leaving. There's no nether wart. There's nothing for me here. I am going away now. Goodbye, you absolute definition of a terrible fortress. I shall go and find somewhere else to pick my warts. So I've run into a little bit of a problem. I needed some stuff from my ender chest, and when I put it down, I realized I don't have a silk touch pickaxe. Other than that, I, as you can see, my golden helmet is broken, so these guys keep attacking me. Oh, no, 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 come back here. Here we go, okay. So, aside from those guys attacking me, and the fact that I can't pick up my ender chest, everything is going great so far. But I do believe it's time for me to locate another fortress and get some nether wart to make fire resistance potions so I can get the stuff I want and get out of the nether. As I said, this place is one of my greatest nemesis says, Yeah, that. But we shall overcome. And the path to the next nether fortress is absolutely treacherous. I've been bridging, I've been tunneling, and we seem to be making some headway at least. <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, come on, fly. I can't see, I can't see. I, I need to land somewhere and I can't see. No. <sighs> and that was over a lake of fire, which means Everything I had has been burnt up, and no. No. Just no. It's a brand new day. I'm feeling better about life. I've just spent a ton of diamonds remaking all of my gear again, and I'm ready to tackle the nether once more. I really don't feel like doing this, but we need to because I still don't have my nether right. And as you can see, I have packed the absolute minimum that I can. I have got some more ender chests. I've got a new silk touch pickaxe again. And I think we are finally ready to once again take on this terrible place. So let's have a bit of lunch and let's get going. Third time's the charm, am I right? Right, so we have found a new nether fortress and this one is looking a lot more hopeful. There's a bunch of blaze, so I hope I can find the... Oh, talk about luck. All right, this was what I was after. This is what cost me all of my gear, trying to find some nether wart. And uh, yeah, these chunks haven't been loaded long, so this nether wart hasn't grown yet. But I'll leave some for the next person. I can't replant because... Yeah, I'm only getting one per plant at the moment. Anyway, I'll leave two rows over here, a little bit in the one next door, and that should give anybody who comes here looking for nether wart a little something to find. Anyway, I got what I wanted, and I'm getting out of here before things turn nasty. So, uh, yeah, okay, let's just go back out up this. Where did the lava come from? Dude, come on. And... Uh, okay. Let's get out of here now. I've got to stick close to this edge to avoid the lava because I don't have any fire protection armor anymore. But we're out and I'm just going to take off. Fly away before anything nasty can happen. Where's my rockets? Um, let's just see. Okay. Nether ward, go over there. Rockets, come over here. And then let's get out of here and let's get on with the program. I've sealed myself into a little chamber over here and it's finally time to cook. So let's get our potion ingredients. I've got a nice little shulker box with it all packed away right over here. And we are going to make some fire resistance potions. We're going to make the strong kind. So let's get set up and let's get going. First up, we need to make some awkward potions. And that's where the nether wart I just collected comes in. And oh, we have a recipe book apparently. 
Let's check that out. I don't know if this is standard or if this is a mod that we have on the server, but yeah, I don't really need it. I know what I'm doing, sort of, a little bit. Anyway, as I said, the first thing we need to do is brew some awkward potions. Next up, we put in some magma cream to make a potion of fire resistance. Next, we'll buff all of these with some redstone, make them last 8 minutes, and that'll give us a total of 48 minutes, which hopefully is enough. We're done cooking, let's pack up all of our stuff. I've got my ender chest right here, so we can put all of our good stuff in there, and hopefully keep any losses to a minimum. And now that we have our fire resistance potions, we can finally go find that bastion. Finally, our luck might be turning. The bastion wasn't very far away from where I was, and it looks like it's a treasure bastion to boot. And that of course means we are guaranteed to get our netherite upgrade ingot. Um, I think I'm just gonna go in straight through the wall here. I can hear a bunch of piglins inside. I'm hoping there's not a brute waiting for me right around this corner. There's some over there. I'm just gonna play it very safe. Go in as slowly as I can, make sure that I don't get overwhelmed, and things should be alright. We're in, we're quite safe over here. There's a bunch of brutes all over the place, but right over here, I don't think anybody can get to us. So I'm gonna build me a little nest over here, a little safe place where I can hide out, and then I'm gonna pick off those brutes one by one with my bow. So let's just get a little wall going. I'm gonna put a roof on it as well because I don't want them jumping on top of my head. Yeah, there's a brute up there. There's two or three down at the bottom over there. But let's just get our nest ready. And I'm gonna add a little wall over here just so they can't shoot me either. And with that done, I think I can get going. Get busy picking off these brutes one by one. So here you go, you first good sir into the lava with you and that one down there oh the punch is very effective taking care of them chucking them into the lava and that one over there is extremely upset with me but it's all right we'll take care of him just now okay i can't get to him through this wall so let's just close that back up he should wander down there again sometime now and then we'll get him as soon as he does i'll just add a little bit of a stepping stone over there and there he is yeah, you just stand right there, and into the lava with you. Oh, no, 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 please don't knock me down. It's okay, I have lava protection. If I do fall, it shouldn't burn me to a crisp immediately, but I would rather not take the chance. But with that said and done, I'm going down. It's time for me to claim my prize, and oh, jeez, slimes, slimes, go away, slimes. I need to get rid of that spawner. I'll do that as soon as I get rid of these slimes over here. But actually, I think the most important thing I need to do is get rid of this bridge just to make sure that none of the brutes or other piglins can come across and that should keep them at bay. All right, I'm isolated. The only thing I need to worry about right now are the slimes. And most of the slimes are taken care of. I've broken the spawner and we should be able to collect all of our goodies now. There's a ton of gold over here, which is fantastic, especially consider everything that's happening in the shopping sector at the moment. So I think first thing to do is get rid of these magma cubes. No, 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 go away. The one thing I don't want to have next to my name is killed by magma cube. Anyway, that takes care of most of them and I can get back to collecting my bounty, which is a lot of gold and then, of course, we have our chest, but I don't want to get in there before I get rid of these magma cubes. You go into the fire, you just go away. And that one seems to be stuck over there, so he should be all right. I can have some... Oh, no, 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 no. Get down, get down, go away. Ah, jeez, okay. So it seems I'm going to need to get rid of all of these guys before I'll be having any peace. And, yeah, they do hurt... And look at this little runt climbing up where he doesn't belong, but let's get to our treasure and we have some diamond armor. We've got our netherite upgrade ingot and we've got some ancient debris as well, which is absolutely fantastic. And that is all we came here to get, so it's time to get out of here, which in itself is a dangerous task. But I'm sure we'll be alright, I've still got my fire protection and this is exactly why I have that because that happening is not too far-fetched. Anyway, seriously, dude. Are you serious right now? No. 
bad magma. Okay, let's try that again, and this time hopefully we won't. Oh, that was a, that was a bit fast. Anyway, we here we safe. We are not gonna die because we are back in our nest, and I'm just gonna close all of this up. Take a moment to collect myself, and then we are going mining for some ancient debris. I've made my way down to level 15, and I am just digging out a little base of operations over here. So what I want to do is make a little safe space where I can come and hide should I accidentally anger any piglins or zombie fight piglins because those guys can be quite dangerous. And I think that's big enough. I don't need a massive fancy space. Let's just close it up there and then let's get our ender chest out. I'll just make a crafting table so I can make myself a door because every good chamber needs a door for one to wrap, tap, tap upon. There we go, we have a door, a strong sturdy spruce door which should keep out all of the undesirables. Okay, let's just fix that up and our chamber is ready. We're just gonna place a few torches to light it up a bit and then, ladies and gents, let's grab our TNT. As you can see, we've got 10 and almost 11 stacks of it and we're gonna be using it all because I'm not leaving here with less than a stack of ancient debris. Now mining for ancient debris is simple. First we dig a long tunnel, we pack said tunnel to the brim with TNT, we light it up and then we go in, picking up all of the goodies. So here comes the boom. We are done, we are out of TNT, but look at what we have. We have a stack and 14 ancient debris. Absolutely tons of the stuff and that should make us 19 netherite ingots. I think it's time for us to pack up all of our goodies and go home. I'm just gonna leave that crafting table there to be honest. I can't be bothered to take out my axe right now. Anyway, let's get out. And once again, it's time to cook up a batch of the good stuff. Finally, here we go. We've got all of our netherite scraps. Let's just pop them in there. And the 64 that goes with it, 19 in total. And then let's pack it with gold. All of those gold blocks we found are really coming in very handy. And just look at that, 19 netherite ingots. And that means everything we own is getting the netherite treatment. Two pickaxes, my quick spoon, Mr. Macchop. We're putting in the slow spoon as well. And then we've got all of our armor and our sword. So here we go. Sword, a helmet, as well as all the rest of our armor. Our chest plate goes in, our diamond leggings go in, and finally our boots. And with that, ladies and gents, we are absolutely covered in debris. The only thing left to make is a netherite hoe, but I'll get to that later. And just look at us now, covered head to toe in netherite. We've got netherite armor, we've got netherite tools, we've got a netherite sword. In one episode, we went from having absolutely nothing to our name to full netherite gear. And I must say, it has been a tough one. It has been frustrating. It has been demoralizing at times, but we pulled through. I really do hope you enjoyed this episode, leave a like if you did, and if you want to see some more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But this is Fungosaurus Rex saying, until next time beautiful people, stay awesome, bye bye.